because it makes the car a little bit unusable but we are not giving him a choice check kiya hai gaadi ko abhi now do you want your stock springs back yes i do <laughs> and on that box shell Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Octavia. Now you might be wondering why Soham isn't hosting his own car. That's because he's out of town and two, it's because we've got a surprise for him. He ordered himself a set of VRS 245 struts, but we've ordered him a pair of Eibach lowering springs too. And he doesn't know that. He was a little uh unenthusiastic about springs because it removes a little bit of the livability of it, but we are not giving him a choice. He lives the low life regardless. That's because he's a TDH member, and because we have done it for him, now he has no choice. So yeah, today we are going to be replacing the struts and adding lowering springs. Hopefully, he comes in the evening and checks it out. And uh, yeah, we are not going to mention anything. Let's see if he figures out the difference himself. Now that the car is on the lift and the wheels are out let me tell you about our latest initiative gravity spacers gravity components is a business started by us but we are going to start with spacers we noticed that in the indian market a lot of spacer companies and providers are only catering towards the off road market which are massive spacers with lug nuts but nothing for the street and if you wanted some good street fitment you had to either make them from scratch or get them imported which is quite expensive so we decided to make them ourselves and get you guys the perfect fitment you would always love now gravity spacers are made from some really good lightweight material that doesn't add a lot of rolling resistance towards your wheels and the bolts are very strong they are isi certified and they can handle much more weight than you can ever imagine so what are you waiting for if you want that perfect fitment on your car get yourself a set of gravity spacers check out gravity components on instagram for further details so this is the strut that came out of the octavia it's from sax and it's quite a plush setup uh, compression and uh, rebound is quite soft in this one but this is an oem a uh, VRS 245 strut and its compression and rebound are stiffer so this will be what gives the better performance but the aesthetic looks are going to be coming from the springs so let's check those out did you shake a lot just check the footage This is what's going to make the difference in terms of stunts and it's also the mod that Soham is mostly dreading because it makes the car a little bit unusable but we are not giving him a choice. So as you can see these Eibach lowering springs are shorter but they are thicker. So the compression travel is going to be a little less and uh, that's going to be improving the amount of body roll the car is having during corners. Now this car inherently does have quite a quite a lot of body roll since it is designed to be a comfortable car but uh, this along with the new struts that are stiffer is going to make the car really enjoyable to drive especially in the canyons so i'm looking forward to it i think soham is not going to be happy because he might not be able to enjoy it in the streets or on the way to office but uh, yeah um, you got to live the low life bro please don't ever replace them and yeah we have gifted it to you so please be nice to us now with the rear springs and struts done we have lowered the car in the bay itself uh, in order to open up the bonnet and remove the mounts and uh, bolts that are uh, under the bonnet so that we can remove the front uh, suspension 
so now we are going to get uh moving on towards the front and yeah i will show you guys the difference between the springs in the front as well so as you can see behind me my boy arslan is trying to uh fit the new uh strut and spring and uh yeah as you can also see it is a bit of a more complex process since you need to remove the brake assembly also but uh, in terms of differences as you can see there are just minor differences this is again thicker and shorter and this one is a bit more compliant and slimmer now this is again going to drop the front by 30 mm and uh, yeah it might be a little bit of a difficult thing to live with but soham has no choice and i'm pretty sure the car is going to look fantastic and we are running against time right now since uh, soham is on his way and we want the car to be stanced down uh, before he comes so that we can find out if he notices the difference so yeah let's get these on and see how the car looks So the guys are almost here from work and the car is almost done so perfect timing we are going to keep the car lifted like this so that Soham doesn't realize and once the car is dropped we'll all be able to see the difference so i mean you and me will be able to notice it since we saw it before and after but uh, yeah i'm quite excited and let's see his reaction क्या किया है गाड़ी को अभी हेलो व्हाट्सअप आई डिड योर स्ट्रट चलो विल पुट इट डाउन वॉट हैव यू डन आई पुट योर स्ट्रट ब्रो नीचे ले जाऊ ले लू lowered it no yeah bro stance nation bro it's a little too low i mean 30 mm it's from the tdh team nice now do you want your stock springs back yes i do <laughs> and on that bomb shell <laughs> kidding <laughs> but it looks good bro we'll take it out for a spin we're supposed to go to siddu right yeah i guess I don't know. I just want you to come and see the front bumper, bro. Yeah. Hata de. Damn. Check this. Are you not low enough, no? for a drive and we went for a fantastic dinner but the thing is we ate so much that on the way back no one was really in the mood to shoot anything so uh, it's the other day and uh, i have driven the car quite a bit and i have to say it has completely changed the way this thing drives down the road i mean first of all i'm sitting so low to the ground it feels really nice to have my buttocks closer to the tarmac because in my opinion i just feel much more confident especially with so much power when you're lower to the ground you just feel more stable more planted uh, even on the highway run yesterday the behavior that the car had on the highway itself was very very different i mean 
when you gave full beans uh the car used to just go all over the place but now with the VRS 245 struts the Eibach lowering springs the car just feels planted it feels stable it's like it's glued to the road now uh and of course the biggest thing is in the corners this thing handles completely different now i mean the thing is i'm not running the best tires for this car i'm running uh, sport contact 5s i should ideally be on ps4s because they're much more grippier especially at this power level but with the new suspension setup the car is just handling amazing and the thing is uh first when i was on the eurospec springs and the stock dampers whenever i used to go into a corner it just used to understeer i mean there was there was no two ways about it you had to fight with understeer now the understeer has reduced drastically i mean you have to be going at ridiculous speeds for this car to start into an understeer kind of motion uh apart from that it's not a very harsh setup if you know what i mean it's still very compliant very comfortable of course the stiffness has gone up quite a bit but it's something that you need to have commitment for especially if you're building a car like this and i'm not complaining at all because i mean this is exactly what this car needed uh season 1 was all about just bringing in the performance and just doing what is necessary to get the power out this season is perfecting the build i want to make sure that this build is perfect this is a great step towards the goal and yeah i can't thank mechanics automotive for sourcing all these amazing parts uh for this car i mean this car drives so well now one thing that has gone to shit though is the turning radius that has become absolutely horrendous even with the eurospec springs and the stock dampers the turning radius was quite bad but now it's gotten even worse so yeah I mean this has become an amazing build and I can't wait to put more miles more kilometers on this thing. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh a big thank you to Mechanics Automotive for again supporting this build for season 2. Uh we can't wait to start working on the car even more and I hope that and i hope that you guys keep on watching this series because i think a lot of you guys really love the way this car is and yeah i'm going to keep on improving it making it to your liking and drop down a comment if you have any suggestion as to what we should do with the car and we'll definitely try to do it thank you for watching bye bye